Hello, me, Mark Trenches here. How's everybody doing today? So, in this video, we are going to be feeding all spiders that have literally just molted. Well, not literally, but they've been molted about two weeks ago. So, yes, these are all going to be their first feeds after the molt. So, I always enjoy feeding my spiders when they're just molted, so they're always hungry. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and we'll see you again soon. Okay, so first up is my Samopius Cambridge Eye. She molted two weeks ago, so she should be in the mood for some food. No hesitation there. This molt came as a bit of a surprise. She was a big girl to begin with. She's more or less fully grown. But those colours, the orange and green of the Cambridge Eye, they're just amazing. So I've got her from the spider shop at the BTS. Since I've had her, she's dropped a sack and just molted. And there's that green carapace. Let's have a closer look at those eyes. Wow. She probably is also the calmest of my Samopia spiders. She did decide to go for a wander with the locust, but she didn't bolt. And she eventually made her own way back inside her enclosure. Next up, another Smopius species. This is the Smopius pulchra, commonly known as the Panama Blonde. She molted about two weeks ago also. Straight off the tongs there. Again, she's not grown too much in size. He's not as big as the Cambridge Eye, but they are just as beautiful. And she always performs in front of the camera. The colours really do pop. Love the fluffy, light, pinkish hairs on these. And the dark patch on the cream coloured abdomen. There's a good close up showing the colours off. She's also a calm spider. And don't mind the light, not like Victoria was. And my Piamonia. Okay, let's leave her to it and go on to the next. Okay, next up is my P. Ferra the Brazilian wandering spider. She also recently molted, but she lost a leg in the process. As soon as this locust touches the ground, she's on it. Again, no hesitation there. Before this molt, she was actually a little bit nervous for the locust, but since <laughs> since the last molt, she doesn't really care about the size of the prey anymore. It doesn't take long for that locust to be immobilized from the venom of the wandering spider. can't quite decide what she wants to do with the locust. I 
really packed on some size since I malt. And as she turns round, you'll be able to see just where the leg has gone from the malt. Right there, you can see one of the back legs. In theory, they do grow back with another malt. I think she's got another malt in her. They do grow a little bit bigger than this, but I don't think the leg will ever be back fully grown. We just have to wait and see what happens. She starts to do a little happy dance for us. She's always moving around really slowly. Apart from when she's taking down prey. It's the only time she, she moves. And when she does move like that, she's like lightning speed. And fangs are getting pretty large now as well. It's going to take her a while to uh, eat this locust, so I think we'll leave it be and go on to the next spider. You can probably guess what this is. Yes, this is the six-eyed sand spider. So as I put the cricket near her, it takes a little bit of encouragement to move the cricket. But as soon as she feels it, she's on it. And again, the venom does not take long to mobilize this cricket. If anything, I think the venom of the six-eyed sand spider immobilizes prey quicker than the wandering spider. I've heard of these guys being one of the uh, most venomous spiders in the world. But they're not DWA. Anyone can get these spiders. But apparently they're very reluctant to bite. But I would not want to take a chance. Always get that that one spider with the off day. Just a few movements of the cricket there. That's more or less it with the cricket. So we'll leave the six-eyed sand spider to feed. She doesn't do no happy dances or anything like that. So we'll go on to the next. Next up is my Pogrophera Metallica sling. And yes, as you can see, pounces on that cricket straight away. What I like about my P Metallica is that this sling in particular, she doesn't seem to be nervous with the... Uh, she doesn't tend to be bolty. Every time I put the light on, she doesn't run or bolt for a hiding space. I mean, to feed her here, I've actually taken her log out, taken a piece of bark out and... Uh, yeah, she's very chilled for a P Metallica. And she doesn't mind performing in front of the camera either. Already the blue is starting to show on this sling. It's the first time I've really seen the blue in her though. Amazing colours. There you go there, close look at that amazing blue. I've had a P Metallica before, but it turned out to be male. I'm not sure what the sex is of this spider yet. The next malt I will definitely sex. We'll hope for a female. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this feeding video. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.
Hello everybody, Mark's Trenches here, how's everybody doing today? So, <laughs> hello everybody, <laughs> hello everybody, Mark's Trenches here, how's everybody doing today? So in this video, 